Welcome to the Storyteller Channel. In this chapter, we dive into a world where the carnival's vibrant colors, once symbols of joy, have twisted into a grotesque parody of happiness. Sammy Carter, Lila Martinez, and Ethan Rivers stand at the entrance, their hearts a mix of excitement and dread. The Ferris will looms like a towering giant, casting long shadows that whisper secrets of the challenges ahead. Join us as we explore their journey through this eerie carnival, where each child faces their own personal nightmare. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries and emotions that bind them together in this tale of courage and friendship. Sammy Carter finds himself drawn to a dilapidated haunted house, its entrance gaping like a mouth ready to swallow him whole. The wooden sign creaks in the wind, reading the House of Whispers. As Sammy steps closer, he feels the weight of his insecurities pressing down on him. Inside, the walls seem to close in, adorned with peeling wallpaper that flickers like memories of his childhood. Shadows flit past him, each one a reminder of his inadequacy. The whispers echo his deepest fears. You're not enough. You'll never be enough. Sammy's heart races as he confronts the shadows of his past, each step a battle against the fears that have haunted him for so long. Lila Martinez navigates a maze that twists and turns like her own thoughts. The walls are lined with mirrors that reflect not just her image but her fears of abandonment. Each reflection shows a version of Lila that is alone, lost in a world that seems to forget her. She presses forward, her heart pounding, determined to find her way out. But the maze shifts, trapping her in a cycle of doubt. What if they leave me? She wonders, her breath hitching in her throat. Lila's journey through the maze is a testament to her resilience as she battles the fear of being forgotten and learns to trust in her own strength. Ethan Rivers faces a carnival game that seems innocuous at first, a ring toss that promises prizes of glory. But as he tosses the rings, they slip through his fingers, each failure echoing the pressure he feels from his family to succeed. The laughter of the carnival goers morphs into jeers, amplifying his fear of failure. You'll never win, the voices taunt, and for a moment, Ethan feels the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yet, within this moment of despair, Ethan begins to confront the fear that has long held him captive, realizing that true success lies not in the prizes, but in the courage to face his fears.